Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So in this video, I'm going to try and answer the question, what is the Microsoft Pluton security processor? And this is in response to a request from the comments. And I've done a bit of research, so I'm going to, to try in as short a time as possible to explain this new technology uh, by Microsoft. Now, first of all, um, the Microsoft Pluton, the architecture was first rolled out in 2013 and it was included in the Xbox One gaming consoles and then Microsoft moved that over and brought that over to the Azure Sphere devices. And then um, in November of 2020, Microsoft announced that Pluton was gonna be made available for PCs. Now, in a nutshell, uh, Microsoft Pluton is a new secure processor that's focusing on enhanced security. And um, basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna take the uh, sensitive data and information on your system and hold it and hide it inside the actual chip itself. So that's the CPU itself. Now, this is a little bit different to how it is currently. Now, currently um, in most modern PCs, you have your CPU, your central processing unit, and then you have your TPM chip, your trusted platform module chip. Now, if that sounds familiar, that's because as many of you will know, uh, the TPM2 requirement is um, one of the minimum system requirements for Windows 11 and caused a lot of controversy when Windows 11 first rolled out due to the fact that a lot of users couldn't upgrade because of TPM2. But nonetheless, um, currently most modern PCs have your CPU and your TPM chip, which are two separate pieces of um, hardware. Now, currently um, the CPU must communicate with the TPM chip, and that's normally through what is known as a bus interface and the only problem with this, though, is, be, is because the information is passing between two separate pieces of hardware, it's shared information, which means that information then, which can be critical information, can get exposed. And this is, that, this is now where uh, the hackers, the bad guys, can um, target and get hold of this information and the sensitive data as it actually moves uh, between the two different pieces of hardware. Now, what uh, Microsoft Pluton is going to try and resolve is it's um, going to be removing this communication channel altogether, according to Microsoft. So um, data as um, such as your encryption keys, your biometric data, and your account credentials, any sensitive and critical information on your system can all be stored now directly on the Pluton processor, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, which are basically, according to Microsoft, isolated from the so-called outside world. And then on top of that, um, there's also a technology called SHAC, which stands for Secure Hardware Cryptography Key. And this is also used to encrypt the data um, it holds in the chip, adding an extra and additional layer of security, according to Microsoft. So basically, um, hackers, um, um, there's no way, according to Microsoft, that a hacker would be um, able to extract any of this data as a result um, of the... Uh, data being held in the chip itself and then with this with and then with this extra encryption data on top of that um, basically uh, hackers will not be able to gain access to any information stored on the CPU which is the Microsoft Pluton processor now um currently AMD and Qualcomm have started rolling out um, uh, Microsoft Pluton processors and as far as I know Intel is still working on it and planning to roll it out so um that could be something that Intel um, does roll out in the future and um, in my personal um, opinion I do think it will become a requirement in the future for Microsoft for a system requirement for uh, for um, future versions of Windows we've been talking about um, you know feature upgrades to Windows um, 11 we've been talking about Windows 12 and so on I personally think I don't know when as um, obviously um, Microsoft hasn't given any specifics on this but I personally feel that these this Microsoft Pluton uh, the Microsoft Pluton processor will become a security requirement for Windows um, the Windows operating system in the future and just to sum this whole video up um, basically Microsoft Pluton has built-in defenses um, that's going to guard against both side channel attacks that's when data is moving between two different pieces of hardware and it's going to isolate it from the rest of the system. And that's because um, Microsoft Pluton, um, all that's integrated into the CPU DAR itself, which is part of the CPU. So there's nowhere for an attacker to actually 
gain access to that information. So that's more or less what the new Microsoft Pluton processor is all about. And I hope that was useful and I answered that question. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.